Thanks. When life hands you lemons, there's a lot more to do than just making lemonade. Sarah Humphreys is executive editor of Real Simple Magazine, here with us this morning with 10 new uses that you can squeeze out of the handy citrus fruit. Good morning. Hi, Erica. I love new uses for things, and yeah. Real Simple is so good at helping us do that. But I had no idea that there was such a, a plethora of options for my lemons. Well, out of all the new uses for old things, lemons are the master multitaskers. So we've run dozens and dozens of new uses over the years, but we brought our 10 best here today. Okay, so starting off with, lemons can really help you clean. Right, so here's the thing. They're na a natural bleach. So if you've got some stained cutting boards, all you need to do is slice your lemon in half and just squeeze lemon juice over the surface. Right. Watch a lot out of for people the flying would, A lot of people would reach for the bottle of bleach, but this is also this is non-toxic. Non-toxic. Yeah. But you know, it's good for your your cooking and eating surfaces. So what you're going to do is then you just take a, a, a cloth and just wipe in the the lemon juice over the stained surface. Let it sit for 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. And then rinse it off, and it will remove the stains. And there you go. And then there would that would be your wooden active. and plastic. I like it. Wooden and plastic. It also is really good. A lot of people feeling under the weather these days. Absolutely. A little lemon and honey go a long way. Yep. And this is an interesting way to do it. So all you want to do is skewer a lemon. You can have the lemon and then skewer it, and then put it over your flame on your stove, about medium heat. Huh. Roast the lemon until the outside turns about golden brown. What you're doing is just heating up the lemon juice. Okay. And then you're going to let it cool for a few minutes, and then put it in a glass with a little bit of honey, about a teaspoon, mix it up so it soothes your throat. Lemon is a natural antiseptic, which mm -hmm. is great, and then of course the honey is really going to coat your throat and soothe it. So you're nat kind of a natural cough syrup for I you. like it. It smells so good here right it now. Does I, I can't so even good. get over it. Um, <laughs> They can also wait, and we, we mentioned the cutting boards, right. but when it comes to laundry or even your fingernails, you can just grab a lemon. Right, so you know, if you're wearing nail polish all the time and your nails get yellowed, yeah. you want to kind of you know, brighten them and whiten them, just take some lemon juice. What you want to do, do I is, rub, I mean, do I rub it on my no, nail like this? No, take the actual lemon juice. Okay. I think that, you know, it's, it's a lot easier. And what you do is just remove your nail polish, scrub your hands, so, soak your fingers for about one to two minutes, okay? Take them out, scrub again, and then put some lotion on because it can be drying and it will just bleach out your, your fingernails a little I bit. I love it. And then, boy, the difference in these two t-shirts. I know. This is the one that has been washed with lemon, huh? It's like an infomercial over it here. It is. So, yeah. Basically, lemon juice, again, a natural bleach, right? A non-toxic bleach. So if you want to put it in your wash cycle, just a normal white wash cycle, about a half a cup of strained lemon juice. You don't want any pulp kind of stuck in your pockets. And this is going in in addition to your detergent. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. And so while they're, while the shirts are soaking and the whites are soaking, the lemon juice will help to gradually and gently whiten it up, lighten it up. Again, non-toxic and also, you know, gentle on your fabrics. Okay, good. So, um, you know, full disclosure here, when I was reading up on this before we did the segment this morning, I read, oh, you could use it for toothpicks. You could use a lemon for toothpicks. And I thought, well, that's sort of an interesting idea. <laughs> yeah. But now I see what you mean. Right. When you're at a cocktail party and you have something... Absolutely. You've got something on the pick. Stuck with what the do you do? Pick. You plant it in the plant? No, you plant it in to the lemon. So what you want to do is put there a few go. picks in there preemptively, maybe with a little sign to let your guests know what that lemon is doing on the table. I like the um, but it's a good way to dispose of toothpicks. Perfect. I'm in. I, the, every time I go to bake something, yeah. my brown sugar is hard yeah. as a rock. Yeah. I've tried the microwave. I've tried everything. This it's box a lemon. Is ridiculous. It's a lemon. So what you do is just take about a three-inch peel. You're going to put it right in the jar or the bag of okay. a brown sugar. What it does is the moisture in the peel imports parts of moisture into the brown sugar. So leave it in overnight, and your brown sugar will be softened up in the morning. I do that as it's soon also as good I as a home. maintenance. So once you open up the bag in the first place, that stick was my it in expression. There. So just leave it in, and then it won't get hard. Absolutely. I'm Change in. the lemon peel out once in a while once it dries out. Okay, that works. Um, everybody's getting a little hungry looking at this. Right, although think about summer. I mean, I'm having a hard time imagining what sorbet tastes like anymore. Um, but anyway, so in the summer when you're doing kind of a cocktail party or something a little fancy, lemons can become cups, mm -hmm. right? So all you want to do is, you know, squeeze out your lemon, scoop out the pulp, and okay. then you want to freeze the, the bases, the, the cups. Slice off a little bit of the bottom so they'll actually stand up. You know, oh, they're not okay. wobbling everywhere. A teeny bit of the bottom. Stuck to, um... Stuck to a slice, yeah, this is too, a, which this is, is a nice, very fancy way which is a of doing nice it. presentation. And then scoop in your sorbet, and then, of course, you can put some raspberries on top or whatever you want. Okay, but or you could just eat the There's that delicious lemon ice cream from haagen -Dazs. It's also perfect in this. Mm, we had it's that last summer. It's the most amazing ice cream. On the early show, it was pretty tasty. I'm obsessed with cleaning um, in between tiles with a toothbrush, so I love this okay, next well, one. Okay, well, this is totally for you. Um, if you do a paste of equal parts lemon juice and cream of tartar, it removes lime and mildew really well. Um, so you want to do is yeah, make the paste and then scrub away. And, and there you go, Erica. It's all you. This and again, fantastic. it's great because it's non-toxic. It's child-friendly. I mean, it's good for your bathroom. And again, the lemon will help remove the residue, and the paste is a good abrasive. 
This is such a satisfying thing to do. <laughs> yeah. I know that sounds crazy, but there are people Not at home who would agree with simple. me. We know it's satisfying. I love this. <clears throat> Lemon can also polish things up. The difference in these two cans amazing. is amazing. Another infomercial, uh, you know, segment here. So basically, especially with copper pots too, mm -hmm. anything copper related, copper pots, things where food gets stuck on, what you want to do is basically turn your lemon wedge into an abrasive scrubber. Okay. So just dip it in some kosher salt. So you've got some, we've got some. Some rough kosher salt. Rough kosher salt. Here, and then you're dip. just going to use the lemon wedge to kind of scrub okay. around the copper pot. And what that does is, again, the salt is an abras abrasive remover, so mm -hmm. it will get to any scrubbed down bits. And then and also the lemon juice helps remove any sort of greasy residue. Great tips as always. Always good to have you here, Sarah Humphreys. Thank Thanks.